wildebeests are running in a vast plain. You cannot take your eyes from grand migration of millions of wildebeests. This is Serengeti National Park, a paradise of wild animals. When a new year begins, over a million wildebeests breed. Wildebeests begin their journey with their babies to search for fresh grass and water. A cheetah, a lone hunter of the savanna, is watching them. The mother calls her babies to hunt together, but the young cheetahs are busy playing. The cheetah, discovering its target, inches closer little by little. Cheetahs can run at speeds of 120 kilometers an hour, but the maximum distance at a time is 500 meters. This 500 meters determines their success or failure. Countless failures lead to a success. Giraffes, which symbolize Tanzania, elegantly run toward the sun. Elephants, with their great memories, are part of Serengeti. Black rhinos, which are keen but blunt animals, can run at speeds of 50 kilometers an hour, despite looking slow. The Serengeti, which is the kingdom of animals, is always crowded with tourists from around the world who come to see the survival of the fittest in action in the wilderness. When the dry season arrives, crocodiles catch the wildebeest that come to drink. A battle between a crocodile, which has to eat to survive, and a wildebeest, which has to survive to graze, ensues. Today, the wildebeest wins this battle. Lions are the kings of Serengeti. Lion cubs, which are at play, look so adorable and cute, but the male lions roar like kings. Female lion's eyes are sparkling keenly. Now is the moment when the lions show why they are known as the kings of animals. The lion approaches its target slowly and then jumps in a flash. A leopard is watching them. This is another predator of the Serengeti. They are sometimes alone or occasionally together. The lion is the eternal king of the Serengeti. Hot air balloons float in the sky. People watch the great migration of wildebeests from the skies of Koga Tende. This is a grand journey of 2,500 kilometers.
Wildebeest cross the river, risking their lives for their survival. They look for a new haven where fresh grass abounds. This magnificent scene happens every day at the Serengeti. Lake Manyara National Park is located right by Umtowa Umbu town. Hemingway once said that it is the most beautiful national park in Africa. Tourists are first welcomed by signs that contain detailed information. Lake Manyara National Park is in the heart of the Great Rift Valley which connects Mozambique and Jordan. The signs also help visitors understand the animals and history of the tribes that depend on the water of Lake Manyara. Lake Manyara National Park is always crowded with visitors who come for safari tours. African elephants are larger and much stronger than Indian elephants. When elephants block the road, we need to wait until they move off the road. There is the tree resting lion, which Hemingway told, near the lake. It relaxes on the tree in the afternoon to avoid insects. Many baboons come to block tourist cars, too. The soda waters of Lake Manyara are ideal for the growth of quality grass. Buffaloes and wildebeest constantly eat this high-quality grass. The sunshine is the hippo's biggest enemy. It can chap their skin. Hippos, which stay in the lake all day long to protect their skin, are interesting to the kid. Hippos claim the lake, while hundreds of pelicans and thousands of flamingos claim the sky. The newly built boardwalk way connects Majimoto with spring water and the lake. We can see how pelicans and flamingos live nearby. When we walk along boardwalk way, we can hear the sound of animals. It is a lot of fun to observe the ecosystem and wild animals of Lake Manyara National Park while we stroll. The deck leads to the beautiful lake, and we can clearly see how the animals live nearby. This is a valuable experience that we cannot get from books. The deck is a very popular destination for tourists and students alike. We take photos to remember this moment forever. <laughs>
Thousands of flamingos move in short steps and dance together, moving their charming pink wings harmoniously. The flamingos that soar and fly freely in the sky are picturesque. We're at Lake Manyara National Park, a dynamic and thrilling shelter to many animals. It is cold and dark in the early morning. People are smiling and animated as they prepare for their flight. It is amazing to see the sunrise from the skies of Africa with their loved ones. A male lion, which is the king of Africa, is seen from the sky. The babies, which are still sleepy, go back to their mothers. Uh, there is a lot of lions on the road. Yeah. The female lions are as busy as the tourists who came to see them early in the morning. While the babies are still asleep, their mothers move for the morning hunt. I don't forget that now. <laughs> People celebrate their successful flight, toasting one another and having breakfast. Having breakfast at a special place, after a special experience, is truly wonderful. What makes breakfast even more special is the certificate of flight which proves that they flew for the first time in their lives. Tarangire National Park, which is located within two hours from Arusha, is located at the center of the Maasai grassland, which stretches from the northern and southern parts of Tanzania. The men of Maasai are strong enough to conquer a lion with a spear. And the women of Maasai are very dexterous. National Park offers a wide range of support for the environment and the Maasai, the warriors of the grassland. Elephants claim Tarangire. Tarangire has large population of elephants. They live in an ideal environment and are more active here. This is why visitors can easily see marching elephants and their adorable babies here at Tarangire. The Tarangire River always offers enough water to quench the thirst of big thirsty elephants. A baby elephant, which is well fed, plays actively. When there is imminent danger, the elephants protect their children by flapping their large ears and screaming. They sometimes hide their kids under their legs. Elephants live with their children for a long time. They love their children very much. 
A tented camp is built in semi-wilderness to help preserve nature. Elephants visit here in the morning and the evening to have their favorite food, marula. I told you we are going to see our swimming pool, which is a wall. After a thrilling safari tour, the visitors freshen up Cheers. at a tented camp. Hello. Hi. In the sunset, a special dinner is set at Tarangire. It is a bush dinner for a honeymoon couple. Cold drinks are great for quenching one's thirst in the hot weather. And warm foods are refreshing after a long day. Dinner under baobab trees and the moonlight will certainly be an unforgettable memory. Kigoma, the hub of trade in western Tanzania, is the main city that surrounds Lake Tanganyika, the world's second deepest lake. This means that Kigoma port is always crowded with travelers and traffic due to exports to Burundi, Zambia, and Congo. Water meets the sky at the horizon of Lake Tanganyika. The lake is so large and blue that it looks like an ocean. Gombe National Park, the chimpanzee paradise, is located by the lake and features spectacular waves. Swimming in Lake Tanganyika, which wraps around the park, is incredibly relaxing and romantic. What is inside this deep, large, and blue lake? Different varieties of tropical fish swim leisurely, welcoming us. The sun sets on this beautiful blue lake. Ooh! Guide Mr. Mkunde awakens the quiet park in the morning. He signals to see where the chimpanzees are. To encounter the chimpanzees, who are drawn to food, it is important to be perfectly healthy and to wear outdoor clothes. Chimpanzees develop a sense of family and express hierarchy and group roles through grooming. Since chimpanzee DNA is 98% identical to human DNA, anyone who has a fever or a cold should stay away from the chimpanzees. Chimpanzees express their anger, joy, and annoyance. Baby chimpanzees learn from their mothers.
We can see signs that chimpanzees are nearby as we move along the stream. Some of them, they found their way chimpanzees are smart enough to make and use tools. They can beat hard fruits so they can eat the flesh inside. You will have a wonderful experience watching wild chimpanzees near the Gombe National Park. Chimpanzees are able to support their bodies with their fingers. They walk on all fours, move in the daytime, and sleep at night. Chimpanzees communicate with one another by grooming and touching each other. They are similar to humans, as they have hearts like ours. Umwam Gongo village is located at the foot of Gombe Mountain, which is at the border of Gombe National Park. The people live in this village with the chimpanzees. They adopt themselves to nature and live with gratitude to Mother Nature. Come to Gombe National Park and meet them, which lives a simple but happy lifestyle. When the train from Dar es Salaam, the economic capital of Tanzania, arrives in Kiguma, the train station is crowded. Mahale Mountain National Park previously suffered from irregular land and air transportation. We can now get to Mahale Mountain National Park by traveling from Kigoma to Shigunga for three hours by car enjoying the shifting scenery and traveling on a speedboat for two hours. We take a rest at Banda, which is full of the fragrances of the woods we will encounter the Mahale mountain chimpanzees that live in this African forest. The rain that started falling in the morning has finally stopped and ants with wings fly in the forest. Mr. Lusoma, a trekker, is wandering close to the chimpanzees again today. As chimpanzees move from tree to tree to find fruit, it is difficult for us to follow them when they are on the move. Tourists can find chimpanzees when they have found their favorite fruit as the chimpanzees will then stay still for a while. Chimpanzees have long fingers, so they can easily grab branches and fruit when they climb up trees. Baby chimpanzees learn from their mothers which fruits and leaves are edible and how to live in the forest. Male chimpanzees need to be strong to be an alpha male. 
they improve their strength by playing with others and climbing up trees. After several hours, the trekker found the chimpanzees. A mother chimpanzee shows others how to catch ants using a tool. And a baby chimpanzee follows her. Could the baby succeed? It does not work well. It is not easy to teach babies how to survive and be strong. Chimpanzees strengthen their family ties through grooming. They drink water without tools as they are strong and masculine, long-haired chimps. Chimpanzees live in groups, and there is a clear hierarchy in groups of chimpanzees. The alpha male needs to control and lead a group. It sometimes engages in violent actions and screams to control or threaten other males in the group. Being an alpha male is harsh and it has heavy responsibilities. The alpha male needs to protect the group from enemies always takes the lead. Leading by example is the obligation of an alpha male. Morogoro is an educational city located in the eastern inland area of Tanzania. Mr. Mdamu and his family are going on safari to celebrate the birthday of the youngest daughter. The family looks forward to today. It was a hard week for Mr. and Mrs. Ndamu, but going on safari with their kids to see wild animals is a big reward. Mikumi National Park is the only national park where its center is accessible by railroad and tamak road. It takes a two-hour drive of Morogoro town. Buffaloes take a mud bath to stay cool and keep away from bugs. They move to other areas as a thirsty elephant approaches. Elephants, which are over one ton, is a giant of the savanna. It dominates other animals with its size. The wild animals of Mikumi National Park are simply beautiful and unique. When the sun sets in the park, the animals take a rest, and Mr. Ndamu's family celebrates the youngest daughter's birthday with special foods Ms. Ndamu has prepared. 
The sun rises and the animals begin to move slowly. Every blade of grass, tree, and animal is a surprise for kids who go on a safari. All of baboons play in trees starting early in the morning. <laughs> Giraffes on the road do not move, blocking Mr. Umdamu's car. Lions, the kings of the savanna, are playing. Mornings in the wilderness are exciting for kids. Mr. Umdamu forgot to introduce the animals to the kids as he is busy taking photos. The kids enjoy looking at their father's photos. They move to a pond where the hippos and crocodiles live. Ducklings swim with their mothers and crocodiles and hippos swim underwater to stay cool in the dry season. Mr. Umdamu's family is busy watching the wild animals, which they have only seen before in books. Buffaloes can be as heavy as one ton, but they are well known for their gentle nature they run 60 kilometers per an hour and live in large groups. Their large horns, which can be seen from far away, are effective weapons. So lions do not hunt buffaloes when they are alone, although buffaloes are herbivores. Wild animals are amazing to see, but kids love to play. The kids have a sullen look as their mother calls them. The kids leave the Mukumi National Park with unforgettable memories. The park will wait for the kids to come back someday. The Sanjay Waterfall is 170 meters high, and it is the highest waterfall in Tanzania. The clear water in the mountain flows to Mbeya, a granary in the south of Tanzania. Mr. Umfoi and Mr. Mpinga, who live in Mangula, nearby Udujungwa Mountain, decided to go trekking. They will go to Udujungwa Mountain National Park which is a magnet for hikers from around the world. The tourism warden, Mr. Haruma Shao, will bring them to Unjo Kamoni Trail first. There are seven trails at the park, and trekkers can select one. These trails can take from one hour to five days to travel. They meet a blue monkey, which is very curious, walking in the closed canopy rainforest. These monkeys move very quickly from tree to tree, eating their favorite fruits and playing with their friends. They go deep into the mountain to see the true characteristics of Udu Jungwa Mountain National Park. There are 10 waterfalls in the national park. The 
water drops touching their faces are simply refreshing. The roaring waterfall magically quenches their thirst. The fresh air and clear water of Udu Jungwa Mountain cheered them up. They begin trekking again, putting forth their strength. And here we're having 11 species of primates, and two of them are found only here in Zungwa. The Sanje crested mangabey and the Iringa red colobus. People, they need to watch mangabey because they are unique and endangered species. You can see this monkey here in Zungwa only. That's why it's very important. Mountain Udu Jungwa, with its diverse fruits, is a paradise for mangabe. People living near Udu Jungwa use the trees and herbs from Udu Jungwa for therapeutic purposes. The trees of Udu Jungwa National Park keep people relaxed and help safeguard the village. The Iringa red colobus monkeys can only be seen at Udu Jungwa, and their hair is as red as the sun at the equator. They move from tree to tree, just like other monkeys, but they are much more sociable. They are friends with the black and white colobus. They spend their days together on the same tree. They begin to explore Udu Jungwa National Park again. Unique and important primates live at Udu Jungwa National Park. That is why it is called the Galapagos of Africa. Treasures hidden by the gods at Udu Jungwa National Park have not yet been discovered. The ecosystem of Udu Jungwa National Park is still a mystery. The Oringa Red Colobus was not discovered by biologists until 1979. We can see the entire ridge of Udu Jungwa Mountain at the Twiga Hotel. campfire burns in front of the tent and the friends have a great time talking deep into the night. Kitulo National Park is called Bustani Yamungu, the Garden of Gods. The best season to visit Kitulo National Park is the rainy season, which spans from November to April, but the road is slippery during this time. There are two ways to get to Kitulo National Park. We can take the main Tanzania, Zambia Tamak Road, from Umbea for an hour and then head south at Chimala. Or we can take the road to Iringa for one and a half hours, go up to the mountain and pass through Matamba village. Kitulo National Park is Africa's first national park and was designated to protect Africa's unique flowers in 2005. The park is a small national park in Tanzania, and its area is 466 square kilometers.
There are more than 2,000 species of flowers, including 45 varieties of orchids, in the southern highlands, in the winds and sunshine of Tanzania. Over 30 varieties of flowers, including ground orchids, red hot pokers, and gladioli, live only in this area. Wildflowers are in full bloom, although no one has taken care of them. The sun is their mother, and the rain and the wind are their friends. These flowers are unique and perfectly beautiful. Flowers dance to the breeze. blackberries in the mountain, which surround the plateau that features beautiful flowers, show just how sweet nature is. While trekking along a trail in the mountain, we see a surprise. We can hear a waterfall roaring overhead. The roaring sound of the waterfall and the cold water drops are just refreshing. Flowers are not only visited by butterflies and bees, but by a wide variety of birds at Kitulo National Park. The wave of fresh flowers stretches as far as the eye can see. The people of Matamba village, who live among the flowers, always thank the winds and sunshine of Tanzania. Mr. Iwamoto leaves on a light plane and heads toward Rubondo Island National Park, which is located in the southern part of Lake Victoria. The Rubondo Island, uninhabited for decades, and features a pristine tropical forest. The main island which houses over 400 varieties of nesting birds and is known as the Island of Birds and the Island of Crocodiles is well preserved, as humans have never inhabited this place. The 
The most popular activity for visitors is sports fishing. And they hope to catch Nile perch, which are sometimes as large as 100 kilograms. He cannot catch anything, although he tried very hard. When he is exhausted, he finally catches a Nile perch. It is pretty big. He victoriously returned with his trophy, surprising the other visitors. A day at the rest house ended. The warden made a fire for the Nile perch party. This experience is unique to Rubondo Island. Guests at the rest house become friends, sharing a Nile perch. It is early in the morning, but weavers are already busy making nests for their brides. Park ranger Mr. Mushi and guest will look around the island. Rubondo Island National Park, which has not been touched by humans, is filled with the smells of the crisp sunshine and the lake, even in the breeze. The first animal they encounter is a giraffe. It strikes a pose. A Shita Tunga antelope can be seen only at Rubondo Island National Park. They wanted to see it up close, but it soon disappeared to avoid them. They decided to go deeper inside the forest to see the true forest. Elephants, which are the giants of the savanna, wrestle with their trunks. So quick. The ranger runs, yelling, so quick. They stop and see a chimpanzee on a remote tree. As chimpanzees move rapidly from tree to tree, we need to hurry when we hear their sound. African fishing eagles are the animals that symbolize Rubundo Island. Mother teaches her babies how to hunt all day long. It is not easy for babies to hunt like their mothers, even though they are also large. They try to fish, as they learn from their mother. Today is not a lucky day. Tourists will never forget the time they spent in sweet company at Rubundo Island National Park. Sanane Island National Park is located at a 10-minute distance from Muanza, the central city of Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria is the world's second largest lake. 
Mwanza is the second largest city in Tanzania. And its fisheries and fish processing industry are thriving. In the evening, fishers prepare lamps and set sail to catch daga, a specialty of Lake Victoria, which is a type of freshwater anchovy. Lamps sparkle just as the stars fall on Lake Victoria. A boat approaches the sparkling lamps. When the lamps are lit and the fishing net is cast, dagas rush to the lamps to eat worms near the lamps. Lake Victoria, which is as generous as a mother, provides fishers with good food supplies. The fishers all smile. The port is filled with fish from the boats that returned in the morning, and the village is lively. It takes only 10 minutes to travel to Sanane Island National Park from the port by the speedboat. However, we must wear life jackets for safety. On our way to the park, the first wild animal we meet is a cute little crocodile. Over 70 species of birds live happily at Sanane Island. The island is ideal for birds, as it's surrounded by Lake Victoria, which features an abundance of fish. We begin our exploration at Sanane Island National Park. The park is like a venue where visitors can be educated on the ecosystem. Ms. Hamishi introduces Sanane Island National Park to college students who are visiting the park. The audience members include zebras and impalas. Zebras get closer to the students and study together. Students take photos that feature backgrounds of the lake and the bay. Watching birds at a natural observatory. While the birds play freely at the peaceful lake, we arrive at the picnic site and enjoy lunch. It is a lot of fun to have a picnic lunch with loving friends. We walk between naturally sculpted rocky hills. These hills look like beautiful blocks made by God. The jumping rock at Sanane Island is a must-see spot. Who can jump highest? Jumping with friends makes for a perfect day. A daily life for the chief warden of Katavi National Park, Mr. Ignace Gala, 
begins by looking around the facilities of the park early in the morning. By removing the weeds that have grown through the night and checking whether the power system is working safely, he always makes sure to take care of the tourists. He begins his day at the office after the park rangers tell him that everything is okay. We are on a Cessna, flying to Katave National Park. We left Muwanza on a plane and flew above the Katuma River in the western region of Tanzania. The flight brought us to Katave National Park. Welcome to Katave. Moving along the Katuma River, which flows in the center of the park, we can see the tree called the Spirit of Katabi. Katabi was a legendary hunter and Katavi National Park was named after him. His tree has been safeguarding the people for a long time, even now. Hippos stay in the river to cool their delicate skin under the burning sun, and birds catch bugs on the backs of the hippos. A yellow-billed stork flies high, proudly displaying its beauty. Buffaloes run along the Katuma River. The Katuma River is generous to every thirsty animal that lives in the national park. Katave National Park is rich in grass and water, the most important supplies for herbivores. That is why the animals in Katave National Park are happier and more leisurely. Katave National Park, which features a large savanna and a forest, is ideal for experiencing the wilderness. Thrilling experiences beyond your imagination await. Hippopotamus and crocodiles represent the Katave National Park. Hippos, whose territories are clear, and crocodiles, which never let go of anything once they bite it, are neighbors. Various animals gather at the river to stay cool and find their food, but they stay in their territories, without provoking other animals, as if there is an unspoken treaty between them. What happens in this peaceful river? A hippo will never allow anyone in his territory, even another hippo. Although there is much tension around the Katuma River at all times, it is a happy place where the animals living there can rest. Now that they have enjoyed the natural environment all day long, it is time for the people and animals to go back to their shelters. What do they do at night? Do hippos and crocodiles fight with each other? Where do the animals sleep? Find the answers to these questions on Katave Night Safari.
Arusha National Park is located between Arusha, the safari capital, and the Kilimanjaro International Airport. As such, it is considered to be the beginning and end of safaris in Tanzania. Arusha National Park's horseback riding safari, which is its most popular activity. Travelers encounter wild animals on horseback rather than observing them while driving through in four-wheel drive vehicles. Visitors can encounter elephants face to face, get closer to giraffes, and be together with zebras during the horseback riding safari. This is the ultimate thrill of the horseback riding safari. Horses run off the beaten track in the sun and winds of Tanzania early in the morning. The rush of buffaloes, one of the big five mammals, continues to create a grand sight. Buffaloes run in groups and create such an incredible scene. While traveling through the well-preserved trails of Arusha on horseback, we can fully enjoy the various smells of Arusha National Park. At the picnic site, we can look down on Arusha National Park. The wind and sunshine will enhance your experience. The National Park's beautiful scenery is like a paradise. We will enjoy canoeing leisurely at Lake Momella. We will feel as though we are part of nature as we canoe along the lake where flamingos and butterflies live. Blue monkeys, which are mischievous animals, welcome people with their funny faces. Meru Mountain, which is the fifth highest mountain in Africa, and is 4,566 meters above sea level, is perfect for couples or friends who wish to see the summit. Black and white colobus monkeys are well-known symbols of Arusha National Park. Trekkers are able to see mysterious and wild animals up close. Climbers are able to have lunch with their friends under a fig tree and take photos with their loved ones. Back on the trail, beautiful flowers and animals welcome visitors at every corner of the park. Fog covers the singing birds and greenery in the rainforest. A day of trekking brings visitors to Media Kamba Hut of Mountain Meru. Trekkers eat food, take a rest, and refresh themselves to continue their journey to the top. Trekkers will leave briskly in the dark so they can capture the beautiful sunrise. As they reach the summit, 
visitors will pass rock piles and step on ash soil. The sun will begin to rise. The sun rises on Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa, in the distance. Lovers will remember this sunrise forever. Florence, a French teacher at an international school, goes on a two-day camping safari. She prepares a tent, a mattress, and some camping equipment, and says goodbye to her pet, Bao. Florence drives to Moshi, an old center that represents the history and industry. She is here to meet her boyfriend, Tom, for a camping safari in Mkumazi National Park. The couple is already thrilled about the safari. Mkumazi National Park is a new gem in the northeastern part of Tanzania. It is located 150 kilometers away from Kilimanjaro International Airport. Its natural environment is well preserved. The couple begins their journey by looking down on Nkomazi National Park from a hill. The first animal they see in this peaceful and large savanna is a giraffe, which is as tall as a two-story building. Heart of beast graze leisurely nearby. They see shy zebras. As herbivores that leisurely move in the savanna, they look peaceful. Animals also hurry to get to their shelters. They disembark for a while and take photos in the beautiful sunset. They have a cozy dinner and fall asleep under the Umkumazi sky, which glitters with starlight. You never need a morning alarm at Umkumazi National Park. Over 450 species of birds fly overhead, looking for foods and sing, signaling that the morning has arrived. What makes the tour special at Umkumazi is a walking safari. The natural environment is well preserved, and flowers bloom at every corner of the park. Fragrances of the flowers filled the air. Florence and Tom walk along the lake and see the beautiful environment and small butterflies of Mkumazi. Butterflies and flowers are simply beautiful in the breeze and sunshine of Mkumazi. The park ranger takes care of the tourists for their safety. Dense bushes near the lake serve as comfortable shelters for birds and colorful butterflies.
Florence and Tom look around the park in the warm afternoon sunshine. A giraffe runs in a small plain of Unkomazi. New roads are made by people and animals that visit here at Unkomazi National Park. This is a world of true wilderness in Tanzania. Dar es Salaam is the economic capital of Tanzania. The town of Dar es Salaam is crowded with cars. Three friends, who are models from Tanzania, embark on a safari tour. They are really happy to experience a getaway from their busy lives. Sadani National Park is the closest national park to Dar es Salaam. Sadani is a kind of paradise, as it offers both beaches and wilderness. Tourists take a boat along the River Wami, where the river meets the sea. Following the riverside mangrove forest, hippos welcome the tourists. From July to October, it's the perfect season to see the wonderful flight of flamingos on salt farms. Three friends are running along the unpaved road of the park. A giraffe runs in the plains, full of palm trees. When the sea breeze cools the sunshine of East Africa, harder beasts and water bucks come out of the forest and walk in the grasslands. A baboon in a tree looks at the people while the people look back at the baboon. A herd of elephants welcomes the three friends in the sunset. Sadani National Park is the only national park where the beach meets the wilderness. When the sun rises over the Indian Ocean, crabs having breakfast fill the sand, and vervet monkeys are busy catching crabs. They go to the beach early in the morning with their guide, Mr. Hamishi Kasa. Maybe a lion or an elephant walked along the beach during last night. They wish to see the footprints of them, but they only found those of a civet cat. Print for civet. They're walking at night on the sea. What they really want to see is a green sea turtle. The mother sea turtle, which laid her eggs two months ago, returns to the sea and waits for her babies. It is time for the eggs to hatch. They wanted to see baby turtles, but they could see only eggs. They saved this for another occasion and enjoy the beach instead. The sand at the beach is just fine and the ocean is sparkling. Playing at the beach of the Indian Ocean, they forget about all their worries. A warthog appears when they swim. They realize that they are in the wilderness. A week has now passed. A 
A baby turtle, which they saw only a week ago, has hatched and struggles to climb up the sand hole. The baby needs to go to the sea to find its mother. It was not easy for this baby turtle to climb up the hole, but now it has to pass some seaweed. After struggling for a bit, the newborn turtle, who misses its mother, finally goes to the sea. It does not see its mother. Instead, it only sees some strange tropical fish. However, the Indian Ocean becomes home to this baby turtle, and the beach of Sadani National Park is its hometown, where it will ultimately return as a mother. The sun rises at Ruaha Plain. It is the largest national park in Tanzania, covering 20,200 square kilometers. We need a skilled guide and a driver to fully enjoy the beauty of the vast Ruaha National Park. Safari guide, Mr. Umwalim, and driver, Mr. Toba Gonje, rush to the airstrip to greet their guest early in the morning. Ruaha National Park is well known for its baobab trees and kudas. Male kudas stay alone and are grouped together except during mating season. The elephant horns of the male kudas, which can grow as long as 180 centimeters. They are also used as weapons when the kudas fight for power. A light plane arrives at this large national park and a thrilling exploration begins. The guide and the driver meet their guests and they are prepared for a safari tour as soon as they leave the airstrip. To get closer to the wild animals, we need to protect ourselves from diverse insect species in the forest. When burning the excrement of elephants, we can keep the insects away. The smoke is not harmful to humans. We burnt the excrement of elephants, and an elephant appeared. Elephants, which are over one ton, may look gentle, but they are the giants of the savanna. An elephant drives lions away so that the herbivores can drink safely. Lions, which were driven away by an elephant, need to take a rest without quenching their thirst. National Park is a famous place for the animals. Mm -hmm. Here you can find the animal from Eastern Africa and the from Southern Africa. Safari guide who works at a tented camp in Ruaha National Park is very proud of the park. The sun sets at Ruaha National Park while the visitors listen to his story. Having dinner in the pristine wilderness against a picturesque background and fall asleep under starlight. The Arboretum features over 1,600 varieties of plants. The sun rises at Ruaha Plain, 
it is time for the baobab trees to bloom and bear fruit. The guide makes juice using baobab seeds and their white flesh. This is the baobab juice, rich in vitamin C and minerals. Bush lunch with animals ahead is waiting for tourists. Wild animals also have their own lunch nearby as they graze. We're in a quiet and peaceful paradise, which we couldn't even dream of in busy towns. Following this perfect lunch, we embark on another safari. Wow! The pride of lions, which we saw yesterday, is under a big tree. They look very hungry. Hungry lions prepare to hunt. They must have discovered their targets as their eyes are glittered and their ears perked up. Will they succeed? The sharp-eyed target ran away and the lions returned empty-handed. Ruaha National Park is nature itself. Climbing at Mount Kilimanjaro begins in the hands of both a Tanzanian guide and a cook who prepares fresh foods. The Tanzanian guide and cook strictly select the freshest ingredients. The first president of Tanzania, Julius Nyerere, called Mount Kilimanjaro a candle of hope, symbolizing the independence of freedom of Africa. Porters and trekkers need to be thoroughly prepared to get to the summit of the highest mountain in the African continent, Mount Kilimanjaro, which is 5,895 meters above sea level and takes six days to reach. Not only is this the highest peak on the African continent, it is also the tallest freestanding mountain in the world. This is the first step to the top. In the mountainous rainforest, which is 800 meters to 3,000 meters above sea level, we are healed by mossy, slippery stone trails and sudden fogs, gifts from Mother Nature. After a short break, we begin trekking again. We arrive at Harombo, located above the clouds, which is a hut that is located at 3,800 meters above sea level. We carefully prepare dinner with the fresh ingredients that we brought. The food tastes just great, without the need for any special spices.
Trekkers are refreshed with cups of hot tea and great foods and get ready for the next day. Everyone is busy in the morning. Watching the summit, trekkers get ready to face their challenges, and porters pack and move to the next camp. Moreland to 4,000 meters above sea level. We can see fewer shrubs and flowers, and there is less oxygen. We drag our legs to the summit to climb up the rugged mountain, step by step. The way to the summit tests our limits. Kilimanjaro is open to anyone, but we will not get to the summit if we are careless. The land of ice and glaciers appears after we travel through the rainforest and the alpine desert. Snow-covered Kilimanjaro is now within our grasp. We need to set off at midnight to see Africa's dazzling sunrise. We huff and puff due to the slippery volcanic ash soil and the lack of oxygen. The snow-covered African mountain is located along the equator. This is a mountain where people can touch the sky. It is the highest freestanding mountain. This is the top of Africa. <laughs> 